Welcome back. You're still watching and listening to The Key Points live on TV3, also live on 3FM 92.7 and at 3news.com and also on Facebook at TV3 Ghana. So we're having a conversation about uh, the strike by the medical laboratory scientists and which has taken a national dimension now. It started from the Confanochi Confanoche Teaching Hospital chapter of the association. Now it's gone nationwide. We're looking at the dire implications and also trying to understand what the issues are and how it can be resolved conclusively uh, in the interest of you know everybody in the country. Um, Dr. Franklin um, Niama is with the Greater Accra um, chapter of the Medical Laboratory um, Scientists Association. He was or he is a former chairman of the Greater Accra chapter. And also we have Honorable Kwabna Mingta Akando, MP Draboso, and ranking member of the Parliamentary Subcommittee on Health having this conversation. We earlier spoke to Dr. Bayo as well. But Doc, um, let's look at this way forward. We know there's a National Labor Commission um, hearing scheduled and all of that. We'll need to look at that as well. But before that, I know you have some things you need to state. Yeah, first of all, Dr. let me Bayo's put on record yes. that we are customers of our service as well. And so in the next moment, I could be down and I will need laboratory mm -hmm. services. So it is not in our, even we the strikers are interested to continue to strike. And so I want to put on record that, Honorable, when your call came in, we were taking steps to heed to your call. Because the matters for determination are matters that hinges on law. And so we cannot sideline and disrespect your space at all. We respect the honorables and we will do the needful accordingly. And so that must be made clear. Now, I want people to understand that we are the underdogs in this matter. Now, take note that he made a statement that uh, Dr. Staki, who is one of our own, is the one in charge of the Confanoche Laboratory now. Take note that he is acting. Now, let's just suppose Dr. Saki acting. And let's look at their intention when they submitted it to the IET committee. They said that the laws on the medical and dental practice shall be amended to reflect the role of the laboratory physicians. The policy should be amended because lab technicians cannot interpret some reports. Now, so they view us only as lab technicians. They didn't view my capacity now as a medical laboratory scientist. scientist but a technician. As a technician. Okay. So, so that could be the defect. Mm. And so based on this, they make the statement that the headship of the laboratories at the various levels should be open to only laboratory physicians. So you can see the defect. We have evolved, we have consultants in our midst. And so if the, you view us as technicians who definitely lack ability to interpret results, that is it. But I have but capacity. You're that has, I, I there's been an evolution. I can interpret you results can, sure. for you. Mm. Even though in practice, that is not my job. So laboratory physicians interpret results to their colleagues. We generate the results. But you see, as the generate results come out, you need to understand. That is why we ask for certain things on the request form. Summary of the clinical diagnosis. So that if I see, I can marry and, and relate that, oh, I'm seeing high HV because they said dehydration. So it is not a polycythemia case, but it's just a case of dehydration. If we hydrate the system, everything is fine. This is for the science community. Now let's come to the issues. Saki is acting. Fast forward, LPs will have to train in the lab. Who are LPs, by the way? Laboratory physicians. Laboratory physicians. Will well. have to train in the lab. Mm -hmm. And they went to assess the lab so that they can train their kind in the lab. Mm. And this is their report. The report is that because it is a non-medic that is heading the lab, it, is not, it cannot be accredited to train their kind. You see? And Saki has been acting for six years. And you now take steps to post medical doctors there. Doesn't it stand to reason, once I'm the underdog and your kind is in management, doesn't it stand to reason that you are taking steps for somebody to understand this tech, Saki, and then eventually you'll be shown the exit, Isn't and then an you take the managerial role. I mean, well, that is subject to all and, sorts and of And that is why also they want to jump the gun because they have the capacity 
to appoint and to but disappoint. But I asked you why the two were posted there, and you said you didn't know. But now See, again? I asked you why those two were posted there. What were they posted there to you do? You asked of the job you description. You didn't know. Yes, you but You asked of the job description, yeah. and I told you that I do not have yeah. capacity but you're to determine their job description. they are there to understudy. So I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, so at this time, I'm telling you what are views. Mm. These are considered view. Mm. That that is what they are pursuing. Mm. And that is why they are unable to wait for us to resolve the matters and they want to jump the gun. So that when they are finished building on, on it already, we say we should go and demolish this. So leave it, live happily ever after. Now take note. Isn't that too speculative? Take note that in the health sector today, we are not recognized beyond the first degree. As I sit here, I am a physical medical laboratory scientist. Take note that I'm doctor of medical laboratory science started ahead of the pharmacy. Today, their housemanship have been accorded and they are doing housemanship. We have not been recognized. So the issues that mm -hmm. affect we the lab, it is clear that when it's about the lab, they say, oh, the first degree is enough. Yet, you are building capacity. You see, there is a nomenclature maliciousness in all this. You say what we do is allied. We have agreed. Allied is like an agent. It is not at the core. Yet, you that you claim is core, when you rise to the pinnacle, you want to come to the allied and now lord it over us and, and stampede our development. Public, these are the issues. We are the underdogs. And we can only scream at least when we scream like uh, like we did, Honorable had heard us, uh, TV3 has invited me today. Possibly a politician will be sitting here on an ordinary day. But today I've been invited and I've laid the issue bare that I've been developed our capacity over the years. Today, to lead in the healthcare system is the sole preserve of the medical doctor. I ask. Does medicine give anybody the alienable right to lead? Management is taught and learned, and two schools of thoughts appear in the management of the hospital. Very well. You are either a management of your own kind or a direct manager coming from elsewhere, and both as pros and cons. Very well. If we have agreed that people should manage themselves in the health sector, it is only fair that medical laboratory scientists are given the leverage to to lead themselves and rise to the pinnacle okay. and take decisions of our own because the health sector, well. the groupings are highly chauvinistic well. and man is first and foremost selfish. Definitely lots of issues to be discussed <laughs> around the table and we're looking at that. But like I said, there's an NLC hearing for the 2nd of June at 1.30. Honorable, I'll be coming to you shortly. No um, you will be in attendance, definitely. I've made the point that we are a law-abiding people. Yesterday, I seek guidance that we can no longer conveniently say that we have not been served. And the kind of injunction that we placed on that was one that could be served in the public space. And so we have taken cognizance of that, and we will conduct ourselves where as a law-abiding people. But what we are seeking mm -hmm. hinges on law. Mm -hmm. We do not have the luxury to determine which portions of the law right. to obey. And in the and so to the rank way, and fire, mm. I recommend to you that we have to receive our decisions and do the needful. Very well. Exactly mm -hmm. where I was going to because the NLC in Dimitri this invitation is saying results. that, yes, <laughs> even <laughs> pending the hearing on the 2nd of June, just go back to the labs and work. And I so must make the point that this strike, though the genesis, it, it emanated from Confanochi. It resonated well across the length and breadth of this country. Mm -hmm. And so we need to assemble. People took opportunity because of the strike to travel. We will do the needful. We will invite people. But I can assure the public that we have an intention to call up this one because we cannot Very call well. it sla a slap in the face of the exactly. honorables. And so we will need them. You, you, you heard so it we'll from the, the representative needful. here. Uh, there's an intention to call up the strike. And we hope it's done sooner than later because the implications are just unbelievable. Honorable. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what we all need. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I would say is that we have to call for cool heads to prevail. And all these explanations you are giving, you must be given the opportunity 
okay. to present them so that we will all have the opportunity to ask questions. On this platform, I can't ask you questions. Mm. We will have the opportunity to listen to the medical doctors, the management, and then you, the scientists, so that we will all together try to, I mean, uh, resolve the issue. Everybody in the healthcare delivery must be seen as a very, very important exactly. partner. I mean, we can't afford to disrespect anybody. And the truth, the truth of the matter that nobody seems to be saying is that, Abena, if you go to the health sector, some of us who are playing a major role in the healthcare delivery, it looks as if everybody except the medical doctors feel that everything is about the medical doctor. Mm. That is a feeling and that is what is going on. And so if there are some actions or inactions of the medical doctors that probably um, create that impression, I would also call on them to also check it so that we have we work hand in hand mm. to get a quality healthcare delivery. Already the the the, the challenges in the health sector is already enormous. Exactly. I mean the you irresponsibility on the on, yeah. on the part of government and all that. So if you come and compound the whole issue with all these things uh, i mm. mean we it can't bear it, yes. so i i am happy that he has hinted that they are calling off the strike and we will give them the opportunity to be heard definitely dr franklin i'll come to you uh, on this one um the there was a statement issued by your council the allied health professions council dated the 21st of may and there's a portion i'd like to read for us to look at it says that it is significant to state that the fundamental issue to the current unfortunate development is the non-implementation of the National Health Laboratory Policy, which was developed by the Ministry of Health in 2013. Let us understand what this policy is about and what, what sort of a game changer is it? Because it, it, it suggests that if it is to be implemented, we wouldn't be having this kind of thing. So what does it do to so, help so, with so this? So the health laboratory policy is what will transform our space as medical laboratory profession. Take note that there is no bottleneck up to the up to the infrastructure and everything. Where the bottleneck was, was who to lead the lab, which I read to you, their position and our position. And so if he says that it hinges on the health laboratory policy, mm -hmm. the real issue is about the management of who should lead the lab. But what does that policy say? So, th so that is what I'm telling you, that the policy has several segments. Mm. It categorizes the laboratory into primary, secondary and tertiary. It tells you what you can do in the primary lab, secondary lab. It takes cognizance of a transportation system within the lab so that if you go to a primary lab in Kautrife, in New Edbiasi area, that lab should be able to take your sample and transport to a lab where you can get the service. Yours is to go for your report. And so it is a fine system. It will serve our clients well. But this has not been allowed to see the light of day. But does it resolve the issue about who heads? Because that ultimately now, is what is the challenge. Now, take note that this policy was developed in concert with CDC, including the laboratory physicians, until such a time that they insisted that the leadership position should be their preserved, and then they left. Very well. And so take note that best practices was, was, was taken care of. And so... To insist that they want to lead was not best practice. That's why it was not put in there. Very well. We need to wrap up your concluding remarks. Yeah, so my concluding remarks is that in we can all see. Calling of the strike. We can <laughs> all see that the health sector, the health sector needs an overhaul. Currently, out to speak, I'll speak to just this issue. We have the drug fund and then the service account, two funds. Now, this is premise on the notion that when you see the doctor, he is able to diagnose you then, and then you go for your drug. In between, we have seen now that it is evidence-based medicine. We need to put another fund we can call diagnostic fund, so that when you see the doctor, you go for diagnosis, evidence-based, before you can go for your drugs. And so we need to have discussions, mm -hmm. have ideas, how we can put these things together well. to make Ghana better for us all. Very well. Because I do not have capacity to say, seek health care in America when I have difficulties. Ghana's so it is have. in my interest, mm. an honorable interest, and the commoner interest that would build a robust health sector. Very well. Give us space mm -hmm. as media. Let's discuss the issues. Mm. You will see the unfairness 
No, but you, you, you'll be going back to the drawing table, so let's not be saying, you know, these Masa. things. Because the entrenched positions will not necessarily help. So, you said you, you, you are willing to go to the table for a discussion, so definitely we'll wait for that. But, yeah. Honourable, you have... Yes, yes, yes. The, I mean, the, uh, just like what you said, the entrenched positions will not help anybody. Mm. You know, if you are coming to a table, you come to the table with an open mind. Sure. Ultimately, the interest of the nation is what must be paramount. Right. So don't say, I get text messages from uh, all over and the kind of language they use as though, I mean, they are not prepared to listen to any other apart from what they are saying. That wouldn't help anybody. So yeah. please, let's cool health prevail. And then um, if indeed you are being cheated, why not? We will, we will, we will hit the, 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 the name. Right. Please look into Let it. Let cool heads cheated. prevail. <laughs> Those are the concluding words of <laughs> Honorable Kwabna Minta Akando, and that sums up everything really well. So this is the end of this part of the conversation we've had in the studio. Kwabna Minta Akando, Honorable MP for Draboso and ranking member of the Health Committee of Parliament and Dr. Franklin Ni, I'm a former Greater Crack Chairman of the Ghana Association of Medical Laboratory Sciences. On the phone, we had uh, Dr. Titus Bayo with the Ghana Medical Association. Thanks, uh, gentlemen. We do appreciate that. Um, we'll take a break. When we come back, we move on to look at, at the double salary payment, which has read its head in recent times. What exactly is the situation about that? See you shortly after this break.